Voodoo number three, written by Ron Mars, art by Sammy Bassery. We last left off. Voodoo had escaped from the federal agents who were looking for her and was sitting at a diner, and we get a tease of Kyle Rayner, Green Lantern, showing up. This issue picks up with Voodoo hitchhiking, trying to get across country. Uh, finally, a trucker stops for her, and she makes the comment of like, yeah, because of the way I look and because of how human males seem to always think below the waist, I'm pretty much able to get away with whatever. So she hops into the cab and she's like, hi, I need to get to Alabama. And he's like, well, we're headed in the right direction. Name's Bill, but everybody calls me Big Willie. And Voodoo's like, everyone, everyone calls you Big Willie? And he's like, yes, they do. He's like, okay, well, they call me Voodoo, but my name's Priscilla. And then they just, you know, they briefly chat like so why are you going to alabama i need to check in with my boss and he just lays his hand on her knee and she's like well don't worry we're gonna get you there and of course doesn't move the hand uh hours pass and she gets off on the side of the road and you just see blood stains in the cab which i'm actually just noticing now um so clearly big willie was not long for this world she makes a walk across this long plane and then she comes across a service station and she walks in, and there's a dude in a chair just eating chicken wings with two skinny blonde women on either side of him. And I don't, I don't even know how to describe their dynamic, but it's just like sort of a master and slave sort of thing, but not like in a sexual way, just more in a like... Like the one makes a snide comment about voodoo, and then the the fat guy's just like, "Shut up, ain't none of your concern." Um, but anyway, this guy's basically the contact, and he's like, "You're not supposed to be here unless there's an emergency. So why are you here?" And voodoo's like, "My identity's been compromised. There were a pair of government agents, but you know they didn't follow me. I'm totally safe." And he's like, "Okay, well, let's see what we can deal with something." So he asked, "What she what?" She learned about them and how she got a mental link and how apparently the, how they didn't know the the aliens didn't know how much the humans knew about them. But now they are aware and how they know that there's an invasion, but they don't quite know who they are yet and that they know that Voodoo's there to monitor the heroes of the world. They also know her power set. Uh, so he's like, well, that's not good, but, you know, we'll deal. And they show how it's like, look, does your shape shifting still work? And she real quick shape shifts. And she's like, that still hurts every time I do. And she's like, look, it's supposed to hurt. We're, we're half human hybrids. We don't have the full capabilities of our species, but we we're here so that we're able to transform like that. Anyway, there's a loud like boom noise, and then he's like, wait a minute, I thought you said you weren't followed. And Buddha's like, I'm sure I wasn't. And in through the wall comes an entire train engine, Green Lantern construct, and Kyle standing there saying, hey guys, so here's the deal. You guys, uh, you guys have been sending messages to deep space, and Guardians of the Universe kind of noticed that, so gonna have to stop you. And they're just like, we have no idea what you're talking about. We're just normal people. And he's like, yeah, okay, you really want to play it that way? Dude, we... We know what we're doing. We are actual space cops. And he's like, I'm telling you, Green Lantern, you got the wrong guy. And then he transforms in this giant, like, beast thing. And he's like, do I look like some kind of space invader to you? And he, he goes and attacks Kyle. Kyle goes with a punching, or a, uh, what is it, a boxing glove and a jack-in-the-box to knock him out. He looks over to the two blonde girls, and he's like, Now, isn't that weird that your boss is from outer space? Surely you knew nothing about that, right? And then they transform into their true forms, which are these blue, like, tentacle-looking monsters. He's like, Okay, unless you did too. And as Kyle's defending himself from them, Voodoo comes up with a crowbar and just whacks Kyle on the back of the head. And Kyle's like, What? Lady, what are you doing? And he's like, I'm not going to be captured. You're not going to take me. And he's like, okay, hold on. Are you are you with them? And he just wraps her up in a construct. He's like, are you with them? And he's like, all you all you humans want to do is hurt us and hunt us. We don't want anything. We, you, you deserve to be conquered. And Kyle's like, okay, I know a lot of humans can be bad, but not all of us. And so he lets Voodoo like, go free. He's like, I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. 
but you need to tell me what's going on or else I'm going to be wrapping you up again. And at that moment, the three other aliens all unleash their weapons on Kyle. And Voodoo, she's told, like, look, get out of here. We'll handle the Green Lantern. You just got to go and continue on with your mission. We'll deal with him. You're not going to have any more contacts, though. You're going to be completely alone in this. So be safe. Don't fail the cause. And Voodoo, she goes outside. She takes an old muscle car, and she starts driving away. As the three other aliens hop into what I can only say is an escape pod, like a spaceship that goes up through the roof. And Voodoo remarks how in that moment, Kyle has a choice that he needs to make on which one's the more important one to follow, the spaceship with the three aliens or Voodoo in the car. And they make eye contact for a second and says, like, see, he has to make a choice and he chose wrong as Kyle goes after the spaceship and Voodoo escapes never to be seen again by Kyle. Um, And as it's exiting the atmosphere, a warp portal opens up and Kyle's like, no, 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 you're not getting away that easy. And he makes some construct chains, but... It, it doesn't work. They, they get away, and it goes through the portal, and Kyle's just left standing there like, who are you people? And then we cut back to the diner that I assume we ended issue two with. Um, a bunch of people are dead, and there's a man standing next to the woman who was serving voodoo coffee, and he's like, now tell me who this woman was. And she's like, hey, she, she had breakfast. She, didn't, she kept to herself. She didn't even give her name. She was hitchhiking. That's all I know. And the man has these glowing blue appendages and tentacles coming out of his mouth saying like oh that's a shame as he kills the woman it is clearly a daemonite from the grifter series that we have been covering so i guess this is very well tied into daemonite lore which i didn't expect that was 100 percent a swerve and i don't know how i feel about it um I did like this issue. I felt it was a very good, it was a standalone thing, but it accomplished quite a bit in terms of voodoo. Like, clearly she would have had some sort of contact or something like that, but now it's establishing, no, she is completely alone. Did a good job in explaining why Green Lantern was there. It was just like, yeah, you've been sending signals out to space and we noticed. Like, nothing in here felt too convenient or too crazy. The last page is the only thing that I'm like, really, we're going with that? Okay, all right, I guess. Um, overall, I'm going to give this one a 7. I do think it was just, it was, it was well done. It was a fine issue. Um, but yeah, no, I'm not moving forward. Like, it's weird that it's a decent enough issue on its own, but I am concerned about where we're moving forward because I, I don't think that she's a Daemonite, but we're dealing with them as well. I don't know. Well, we'll just have to see when we get to the next issue, but 7 for this one for sure. (laughs) 